In this video, we are going to review how to restore a complete backup image of your computer using the program DriveImage XML. To begin, boot your computer using the Runtime Live CD. If you have not yet done so, watch the video Creating a Runtime Live CD to review how to make one. If your computer does not automatically boot from a CD, do a Google search with your computer's brand and model number, followed by Boot Menu. For example, Dell Inspiron 15 boot menu. The goal is to find out which key on your keyboard to press on startup in order to access a boot menu, allowing you to tell your computer to boot from the optical drive. When the initial orange runtime live screen appears, you can press enter to boot right away or wait about 5 seconds and it will boot by itself. While the CD is loading, plug in the external hard drive that you use to create a backup image. After a minute or two, the CD should finish loading. A disk info screen will appear showing each hard drive it found when loading. At least two drives, your internal hard drive and your external hard drive that you plugged in, should appear. If this is the case, click OK to continue. If your external hard drive does not appear on the list, Click OK, and then unplug your external hard drive. Wait about 5 seconds, and then plug it back in. A new device window should appear asking if you would like to mount the device. Click No. If your external hard drive still does not appear, repeat the above steps to remove the external drive and try plugging it into a different port on your computer. Assuming you can now access both your internal and external hard drives, let's continue. On the desktop screen, double-click Assign Drives. The Assign Logical Drives window will appear. We are most concerned here with the Description column, because we want to figure out which drive is the internal hard drive and which is the external hard drive. By the descriptions given in this example, I can tell that the first drive listed is my internal hard drive, and the second, the MaxTor One Touch, is my external hard drive. Note that the size of each drive is listed in brackets, which may also help you to determine which drive is which. Click on the first drive, and then click Select. The drive will be given a letter designation. In this example, the internal hard drive will be assigned the letter D. Click Yes to accept. Press OK if another window appears confirming the drive assignment. We'll repeat the process for the external hard drive by clicking it and then clicking Select. Click Yes to accept the drive letter assignment, which is E in this example. Once again, click OK if a confirmation window appears. The Assign Logical Drives window appears once again. Now, each drive will have a drive letter under the column Log Drive, which is short for Logical Drive. Remember these letters because we will use them in a moment to restore our drive image. Click Quit to continue. Locate the Drive Image XML icon on the desktop and double click it. After the optical drive rattles around for a bit, Drive Image XML should appear. In the bottom left, click Restore. Under Disks and Partitions, you may see more than two drives listed. In this example, Looking under the Capacity column, on the far right, we see a drive listed with a capacity of 571 megabytes. This can be ignored. The first two drives listed are the ones we're interested in. Despite assigning the internal drive a drive letter, it appears here with a question mark. That's okay, just keep in mind that the external hard drive, E, is where our drive image exists. Click Next to continue. To navigate to the image file, Click the Open Folder icon on the right. Next to Look In, click the drop-down arrow to the right of My Documents. Move the scroll bar all the way up and click My Computer. Click on the E drive and then click Open. Finish navigating to the image file, which in most cases will be named drive underscore C dot XML unless the drive letter was different from C when you created your image. Once you find it, click it, and then click Open. The image location now appears in the Restore window. Click Next. 
The next screen that appears asks you to select which partition or disk you want to restore the image to. As you recall, we determined that our internal hard drive was the 33 gigabyte drive listed as a question mark. Click to choose that one, and then click Next. The next screen allows you to review your settings before beginning the restore process. In this example, we can see that we are restoring an image from the E drive, originally known as the C drive, to the destination drive marked with a question mark with a capacity of 33 gigabytes. If everything looks good, click Next. You will get one final confirmation window. If you are sure that everything is OK, type the disk designator, which in this example is disk 0 number 1, in the white box. Note that you can type disk 0 number 1 in lowercase letters and it will still work just fine. When you're done, click OK and the restore process will begin. At the bottom of the window, you can view the time passed and the time remaining. The restore process may take several hours to complete. Once finished, a window will appear for five seconds that the operation completed successfully if all went well. Click Finish to close the restore window and close Drive Image XML. The image restoration is now complete. To see if it worked, we will need to reboot the computer. Click the icon in the bottom left and then click Log Out. When the window Logout LXDE Session question mark appears, click Reboot. The Runtime Live CD will now shut down and you will be prompted to remove the CD. Take the CD out of the tray, close it, and press Enter. You can also unplug your external hard drive at this time. If all is good, Windows should now boot up as it did at the time the backup image was created. In the video, Browse Files on an Image with Drive Image XML, we will discuss how to retrieve individual files from an image created with Drive Image XML. In this video, we reviewed how to restore a complete backup image of your computer using the program Drive Image XML. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.